pulling the wiring loom out of the Jaguar and thinking screw that for a game of soldiers, I've decided to help Stevie out with his 100E. So the first of my multiple jobs is turning the dashboard from what we've currently got, which is the MX5 clocks, completely functional, but rather pedestrian and a little bit modern, and the 100E dashboard, which has lots of room on it. Um, all, of, all of the original holes, those of you who know your 100Es will know that these are for things like vacuum operated wipers and ignition switches and all, all those what else that we don't actually have anymore. So that is the task, to take our, these clocks and put them in here. What we do want to avoid is what you see in a lot of sort of uh, more budget based builds where the clocks are basically just rammed through the original dashboard you've got the cowling still in there and and it just looks a bit mickey mouse if we're honest nobody likes it it just looks stuck on it's great for race car but this ain't a race car this is a show car <laughs> uh, so there we are that's what we're doing and what you're going to see coming up is about 16 different attempts at doing that eventually we actually get there so good luck and enjoy Another day, curbside HQ, working on Steve's 100E. He spent the morning filling the fluids and now he's mocking up for the radiator brackets in between making lunch. Meanwhile, I'm finding a way to fit the MX-5 clocks into the original dashboard frame in such a way that it doesn't look god awful. A uh, little bit of a head scratch and we came up with taking the MX-5 clocks and losing this perspex around as well as the much of the depth of the cowling as possible so that it will fit flush within there that's that job done uh, as you can see they sit nice and flat now this obviously needs tidying up and what looks like the damage from a beaver attack is just where we've trimmed away the casing to allow it to fit as neatly as possible into the 100e frame so this is just a quick mock-up. We've obviously edged out the original dash around, infilled a little bit of the cutout material into this corner. And then the next step is gonna be to finish it off, get a nice even radius, smooth it out, etc. Then what we're gonna do, I think at this point, is we'll bond the gauge around itself onto the back of here. Um, we're going to order a piece of Perspex, 2mm, potentially 3 and that will be bonded in flush onto the backing surround here. So when the dashboard cover goes on, the alloy, alloy dashboard cover goes in the middle. Yep, whether we uh, engine turn that or brush it or what we do with it isn't quite decided yet. Depends how impatient Steve gets mostly. Then all that you'll see is the nice features of the clocks themselves but by putting this infill panel here what it means is that there'll be a continuous surround there won't be any gaps or light bleeding through so it should look hopefully fairly factory but that's all to come yeah get okay, on modernize it a bit Okay, action. <laughs> Here's your two options for the clocks. We've got the standard MX-5 black, blue, whatever color they call it. That's the standard 100E surround with the uh, MX-5 clocks fitted. And that was the original. That's the original cluster, yeah. And Ford's just Sorry, done two, two holes the other side. So if it was left hook or a right hooker, they could use the same dash. But Dave's getting on with the dash. We're going to put a new alley piece in. Under all this tape is like, it's all been chrome, so it's really nice. But yeah, it should look good when it's done. It's just a decision on the black or the white. Yeah, so now the decision comes. Do we go with the standard blue-backed MX-5 dials? Or... So if we go black, so if they vote black. <laughs> 
Oh, we're gonna go with the nice creamy white Nevada edition dials. <laughs> But no, don't throw them. Those are the good ones. Answers in the comments. Uh, please leave a comment. And uh, yeah. <laughs>